Hey y'all, so today is Sunday, so you know what that means. Let's design something new. So for today, I'm gonna be designing my very own iPad cover, y'all. So this is what it's given. For the app I'm gonna be using this Canva, y'all, my favorite app in the world. I hit create a design, then custom size. And here is the exact measurements I need for this wallpaper. So if you wanna make this, here you go. Here go the measurements. Don't ask me, y'all, here you go. And now we're ready to go ahead and start designing. So this is what it's gonna look like, but don't pay this any mind because we're gonna be designing sideways, you guys, so that way we can get our wallpaper started so let's go so now y'all when it's time to start you're going to figure out what exact design you really want to go for so as y'all seen by the inspo i did show you guys i was kind of like going for like a pink composition type of look and when i was looking on the elements tab y'all i really didn't see much that i really can kind of like work with it was kind of like images and i was just trying to like find out what exactly i want to do so i did find the composition image which is perfect so i just added that and then i went to my safari to kind of look up some composition backgrounds i could for use so when looking this up y'all i was able to find a lot of cool interesting like different shades of pink that i definitely could use for this wallpaper y'all and this was the one that i definitely fell in love with so i went ahead and saved it to my ipad and then i went back to canva then i'm going to hit the upload button and then that's where my images are going to be so i'm going to hit the upload file and then i'm going to upload the image right to canva so that we i can always have it just in case i use it for another design I went ahead and clicked it and then I'm going to hit the three dots on the side and then I'm going to hit set image as background and boom there you go there's my background there's my base for this cool wallpaper y'all this looks amazing so far I can't wait to keep going so let's go um we're going to drag down that composition image that I found on the elements I'm going to like turn it just to place it where it's supposed to go and resize it if you have to y'all I'm telling you please resize it to like a really good um size don't make it too big don't make it too small just like you know imagine a actual composition book if it's not too small if it's not too big there you go all right y'all so let's move on so now it's time for the text i'm going to go ahead and hit the text button and i'm going to hit add a heading i'm going to use like the subheading or no i did the main heading i hit that and then i'm going to find the perfect font this is the one i found from thefont.com i had downloaded this to my canva so if y'all want me to show y'all how to do that i will definitely show y'all but yeah y'all i downloaded that and this is the font that i use i love this like scrapbook look kind of like you know vibe so i love it so i'm use that to type out the word ipad i'm going to resize it to make sure that everything kind of like fits and fall into place like how it's supposed to fall and y'all this is how it's looking so far so now i'm going to use that same button i'm gonna hit the heading and then i'm going to type my name shira then i'm going to put apostrophe s you know shira's ipad you know you get it and then i'm going to choose the perfect font that i feel like best fits and this is the font i kind of use i use kind of like a cursive kind of like vibe because i want it like i want it to look like a signature almost so you know it really depends on the person like whatever kind of vibe you really want for your wallpaper it really depends on what you would like so now let's move on to the images of the wallpaper so i really wanted to go for like a design like youtube kind of vibe so i was looking for some cameras some like um ring lights some like different stuff that i've used before and like other designs but yo i have so much stuff on my canva i could not find it so i'm like you know what let me see if i can look up some inspo let me get like a quick camera off of google real quick and this is what i kind of fell i fell in love with this camera right here so i'm like yeah this is definitely going to be the camera i love it so much and it was the perfect size so now we downloaded that if y'all want me to show y'all how to like remove a background and all that on canva i would definitely show y'all that as well but for the sake of time let's keep going and i also looked up um a youtube plaque just to kind of like add that to my image as well. I'm so glad that Canva has the feature where when you add like images and you want to remove that background, you definitely can. But if not, you can always like when you go to like look up images on Google or whatever, you can ask for or like type in like PNG and then that'll kind of like, you know, help you remove that background so that when you add it to your Canva design, it's easy, easy peasy. So now as you see, I'm using that like background remover feature that Canva has and I'm adding my YouTube plaque to it. So for this y'all, I wanted the plaque to kind of like be on the edge just like how I have my ring light. So that way it's kind of like symmetrical in a way so that way the images are not like just all flat you know just like straight across at the bottom of the wallpaper i just wanted like a certain like 
curved look to give it like a different kind of feel to it so now as you can see i wanted to add like something else that would kind of like give like a girly look so i added like a butterfly i thought this butterfly was perfect because it gave like a pop of blue so that way it's not like the same color throughout the whole wallpaper and it kind of like you know just add like a different flair to it like a different kind of vibe so i thought this was kind of cute i left it on there and this is what it's kind of looking like y'all of course you have to readjust it and this is what it's looking like when i was finished so now of course i had to add a kissy print um um, image so I found one and this was perfect this one was black so it kind of like matched the kind of vibe I was going for so far which was amazing so of course I had to resize it I moved it to try to find like a good place for it I didn't want like so much black around my name since my name was already black but this kind of like I guess works it's, it's all about placement all, all about placement so I'm so excited that it went from this blank to this right here y'all here's the finished product it looks amazing so thank you guys so much for watching this video and y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so that way you're notified the next time i upload another design tip or tutorial for you all and drop some comments like some ideas that you may want me to drop next and so yeah y'all so this is how i kind of like readjust it and so when i open up my ipad this is what it was looking like y'all so i'm so excited and i'm so glad that it turned out really well so once again thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace out y'all